The movie is called Lady Ballers. <clears throat> That's my entire description. <laughs> if you can't get it from that. Lady Ballers. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a about some high school state champs who's uh, basketball players whose best days are behind them until they figure out that they can go dominate women's sports just by saying that they're women and nothing else. This thing got 20 million views in 48 hours. Go ahead and play it. In a world where women's sports is being transformed, the Daily Wire calls foul with the most triggering comedy of the year. <laughs> Guys, this is serious. Sports can be your pathway to a better life. Well, like yours? <laughs> Please don't steal my catalytic converter again. Winning matters. It's the key ingredient in becoming a winner. Well, maybe you should try it sometime. Are you going to move? I am not. <laughs> Let's cut to the chase. I know you're not a woman. Hey, you know how he identifies. If you can beat them. What do you know about the U.S. Opens for the Global Games? You want us to compete as women. $5,000 prizes. My lover says you were a great coach back in the day. Join me. This is the way the world is now. My eight-year-old daughter told me all about it. So a guy can become a girl with no physical changes at all. Oh, that's called gender fluid. So I can be a woman on the court and a man in the bedroom. I can't believe it. Nice. You mean when you're sleeping? Yes. <laughs> coach. Alex. <laughs> We could play basketball. We have to get the whole team back together. It's time. We're in. I'm in. I'm in. To play. Lady Baldus. Mount up. Like a girl. Guess what? I'm with her. Believe in my truth. This is my truth. Hero. Day one of being a girl athlete. <laughs> I love being a girl. To Shiro. We could dominate every woman's sport. Running, swimming, soccer. I said sport, Felix. It's ladies basketball, boys. Nobody watches. <laughs> Excuse me. Are these seats open? <laughs> ne never mind. Get it done. Biggest I've ever seen on a lady. I don't care. Lady balls. I don't care. I don't care. One can even be trans age now, which provides Sheelix with a wonderful opportunity to relive Sheelix. all Sheelix. the experiences <laughs> that she missed out on in school. <laughs> Streaming exclusively on Daily Wire Plus December 1st. I can't wait to read the reviews on Rotten Tomato. That's what I'm interested in. I want to read the reviews. So. Uh, uh, obviously, funny as hell. Uh, it, j the trailer. I haven't seen the flick yet. This comes out when? On Friday. On Friday. On Friday. Okay. So, and it's going to be only on Daily Wire Plus. Daily Wire Plus. Okay. Now, when you see the final product right now yourself, what feeling do you have? Is it because I know you? What you're thinking about is like that clip with your head hitting the table. Did it actually hurt? Because I look like you actually hit the table. It hurt, and I did it thirty times. <laughs> Here's the thing about hitting about being a stunt guy, you know, like Tom Cruise does all of his own stunts. Yeah. That sucks. Uh, this wasn't able to be done by a stunt guy, and so they said, "Yo, you're gonna have to do it." You're quick, your head. quick, hit your head on the table. Yeah. Everything about your body is programmed to break your fall. Yeah. And so the thing about the thing about doing that stunt, if you're not a crazy stunt guy, uh, who's already you know, beat all of this common sense out of yourself is that you try to stop yourself, but you also know that you have to pull off the stunt on camera. So all you're doing is ensuring that you're going to have to do it again and again, and it still hurts every time. It's not like you're not hitting the table. Yeah. Yeah. Can you imagine? You can't be like, hey, listen, guys, I'm only doing this one. I swear to God, no. you better get it. No, yeah. yeah. But well, because I wasn't good enough to do it, like I, I wouldn't let myself fully commit to it until. I'd had all the sense beat out of me, and then you got the good one. So, Jer oh, I'm sorry. What's a, what's a budget for something like this? I think we spent seven million. Seven million on this. Yep. It looks it looks very good. It looks very good. Can't wait to see it on December first. Go ahead. Can I ask you a question? So, so Jeremy, it comes out uh, exclusively on da Daily Wire. Yep. Uh, plus or just regular Daily, uh, Daily Wire Plus. Daily Wire Plus. Got you. Got yep. you. So, Jeremy, what what are the odds if if it's and and we hope we hope so we hope for you it's it's really successful online. Is there any chance for it to be to to a point where you're like okay. 
people want to see it. People really love it. We want to put it out in the theater. How how would that work? Yeah, it it won't. We met with some theatrical distri- uh, distributors. I think the film would do very well in theaters. In fact, I think that it would outkick its coverage in theaters because right now theaters are in trouble. Right, Disney bombed at the box office this weekend. Uh, mm-hmm. Almost every film since the pandemic has done poorly at the box office, with with precious few exceptions. But for the right, going to the theater can be an act of protest. Buying a subscription to the Daily Wire is not an act of protest. So I think it would do much better in theaters than it will on our platform. Here's the problem. That movie ain't going to no theaters. <laughs> Unless just you, you warn everybody. One of, the, one of the top agents at UTA came to us years ago, not that many years ago, a couple of years ago, and said, hey, we'd love to work with you guys. We can do some huge things together. And I said, no, you, there's no way you'll ever do huge things with us. You, we believe this. We believe that. He said, yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't care about any of that. We just care about, you know, th- there's an opportunity here. We want to take it. He said, the only thing is you got to back off this trans issue. So I don't care what you say about abortion. Don't care what you say about religion. Don't care what you say about who to vote for. Don't care what you say about taxes. Got to back off this trans issue. This is the religious issue of our time for the left. This yeah. represents the culmination of their religious beliefs. Uh, and so when we went to theatrical distributors, they, it was a... We, not even going to engage in the conversation. It's not that they passed. It was just like, here's a great example. The Hollywood trades have covered every movie we've made at Daily Wire so far. They won't even write about this one. And and I understand. Because that would be putting themselves on the other side of the actual religion that matters within their industry. So, yeah, uh, sadly, while men, I think that we will have a theatrical strategy for many of our films going forward in the future... There's no way this that ain't, the, that ain't the one. By the way, you know what's crazy, though? Here's what's crazy. So Clay Travis comes out <laughs> and says, I'll pit a, bit a, put a million dollars of my own money. I don't know if you saw this, Tom. Clay Travis from Outkick. Yep. He gives a million bucks saying, I am willing to say, I'll pick the high school, t- high school kids, high school boys. A high school boys basketball team will beat the WNBA champions. Yep. <laughs> Have you seen this or no? Okay, so check this out. Then one of the players responds back and calls him clown or whatever, right? He comes back and says, well, if you're so confident, why don't you do it? No word. Pat Beverly comes out and Pat Beverly says, you're an idiot. He calls him something like you're, you're on drugs, okay? <laughs> and then... Clay Travis says, well, maybe I'm on drugs. He says, but both of us are millionaires. Why don't you put your million dollars yes. <laughs> on the WNBA? And why don't I put the million dollars on a high school team and let's see who wins? Never got back to him, okay? Never got back to him. He has cornered <laughs> these right. ladies and the entire sports mainstream media and athletes who think WNBA is this incredible sport that people want to watch, and you're like, don't worry, uh, nobody watches WNBA and all this other stuff. Yeah. It just it shows contradiction and hypocrisy in the argument to say it's just not real. You know who's the best person that said what she said in 2012 or 13 when she says, Andy Murray playing against me? He would crush me. Serena. Serena, Serena Williams Serena said Williams. it to David Letterman, and David Letterman couldn't say anything about it. Now, I don't know if she would say today. She said that about 10 years ago, whatever it was. What a movie like this does, you know what it does? It gets you thinking. The challenge for me is the people that watch Daily Wire are already understanding. Look at this. I would lose 6-0, to Andy Murray in 10 minutes That's right. when Serena Williams said this. So guess what? Respect to her being straight up about it. And, get, and she still makes a lot of money. She makes a $20 million a year. She's very wealthy. Yep. She's the GOAT. She's won 22, 23, 24. Won a couple you know, majors. Champions, couple, couple majors. majors. She's, she's <laughs> and won her a, sister. She beat <laughs> Ste- Ste- Steffi Graf, and she's done a lot of great things. She's one of the greatest female tennis players of all time. She deserves her success. Yep. Maybe the greatest, some would say, That's of right. all time, right? But the the purpose of this movie, this is where my my concern goes, is the people that need to watch it may not pay to watch it on Daily Wire. The people that need to watch it need to watch it to be sitting there saying, what a stupid thing this is. So is the plans, and and I don't know what you're going to say to this, maybe this is the plans because, you know, uh, it could be part of the playbook, where you guys did What is a Woman, and you first had it on Daily Wire Plus, for a couple of years, whatever the timeline was, and then you put it on Twitter and got 100 million views within 24 hours, and Elon Musk retweeted it. Is the plans for this to be on Daily Wire Plus for about a year or two, and then you put it on Twitter to get the eyeballs of the you know regular folks to watch it and say, holy shit, this makes a lot of sense? Yeah, I, I would say that, well, first, you know, we're, we're often accused of preaching to the choir, but preaching to the choir is who you preach to. The, the choir is who listens. And the you reality- You got baptized, though. You the, got to baptize as well. But who does that? And, and this is my actual <clears throat> argument. 
you, you preach to the choir because it's the choir who goes out and has relationships one-on-one, which is actually where most people change their mind. I changed my mind about my theology because yeah. I had a great professor for my very, very, very brief stint uh, in college. I had a, a professor who would argue with me about religion, and I never was even conscious of the fact that I changed my views. I just slowly over time found that when I was talking to other people, I was saying not the things that I would say to him, but the things that he would say back to me. And then one day, in a moment of self-reflection, I went, well, he actually changed my mind. I actually believe something now that is distinct from what I believed before. That's how most of us come to our beliefs. It's from our close community. It's from our friends. It's from mixing it up. It's not from watching the Ben Shapiro show. No, sure, some people watch the Ben Shapiro show. A lefty will watch the Ben Shapiro show. Boom, they're a conservative. That's rare. Far more likely is a conservative watches the Ben Shapiro sh- show. They now get ammunition for how to actually articulate and actually think about these issues. Then they go out into the world and have conversations with people with whom they disagree, and those people make change. So I, I don't think preaching to the choir is innately bad. I think it's good. But it's not, it's not sufficient. Obviously, there's the next thing that needs to happen. With, with what is a woman, yeah. as you say, we put it, on, uh, put it on Twitter on the one-year anniversary and had an enormous success with it. Will we do that with this? Well, I don't know what we will do with this, but certainly we are constantly innovating and evolving and thinking about how to reach people. So whether that's whether that's putting it on X or whether it's some other strategy, uh, cer- certainly we are going to find broader and broader audiences for our content over time. Well, it sounds like you're subscribing to basically the um, the execution of apologetics. I'm going to give you the way to argue, and then I'm going to let you go work with the people that you know and love on a more one-to-one basis. I'm not going to expect you to to convert, you know, in, the, in amongst the mob, yep. you know, but there are some that are breaking through, um, you know, uh, South Park's Pandaverse episode has been, you're smiling, has been absolutely destroying Disney and Kennedy. It showed, uh, it went after Kennedy, the woman who's been redoing all Kathleen these Kennedy. Yep. All the, she's been responsible for all the bombs and that happened under Chapek because it's the release windows is what, um, Iger was dealing with when he showed up, but all this was done there. There are some people that are doing it. I mean, they've got that, um, they took that platform, got it on Paramount Plus, and it, it, it's out there. Everybody's seeing it, and Disney is reacting, trying to keep it off, and they're doing everything they can to fight it. And God bless whoever at Paramount Plus said, no, 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 that's part of the series. That's yep. that satire. That's cartoon. We're going to leave it on. But that thing was heavy-handed. You know what's crazy about his movie, too, Pat, before I know you want to move on? People can actually do Like, I know it's a movie, but don't. Guys could literally today do exactly what you guys did in the movie, yeah. say that they're women, and do exactly what he's doing. Like Nothing's holding you back. Well, they are doing it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They are doing it. Yeah. The, the scene that's in the trailer, and, and, and I'll stop ta- I'll stop self-promoting. No, it's moment. all good. The scene in the trailer where Blaine Crane lifts, is wrestling, he lifts the woman <laughs> off the ground and smashes her. First of all, it hurt. Like, she's a professional <laughs> stunt woman, and it was painful. It was painful to watch. And when I was driving home, I actually had a moment of reflection that night and thought, what? Is this immoral? Am I doing something wrong? Like we, we, we humiliated that gal. I mean, she signed up for it. She's a professional, but <laughs> you don't feel great about it. And then I realized, oh no, this is this isn't even a joke. The first male MMA fighter who identified as a woman and fought an actual biological woman broke her um, skull. Almost killed her. Yep. Broke her skull. <laughs> all we're all we're doing is what they did in Death of Stalin. We're saying. No, this is reality, and it's okay to laugh at 